Rock Painting 101. Today we're going to do a real quick tutorial. These fun little love bugs. They're super simple to make and how cute are these to hide around town for Valentine's Day. So we're going to just go through the process really fast. I've got one kind of prepped here just so that uh, we can move things along a little bit. The last one I'm gonna create here is gonna be a blue love bug um, for my son. So all you need to do is, if you don't have white base coated rocks or lighter rocks, you can um, prep by having a lighter color. These pastels show up really well. And you're just gonna kind of really quickly sketch out your bug on your rock. Very loose, No, don't be very specific about it kind of the sillier the outside edge is, the more fun it is anyways. Just make sure you fill in the inside, like so. Just that nice little sketchy edge, like that. That's all you need to do on your rock to get started. Give that a minute to dry. These do dry very fast, but I've got one here prepped and ready to go. We're gonna start creating our bug on here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the stuff that's gonna need to have the next layer of red on it. So I'm gonna start by drawing my tops of my little antennas here. Now, don't worry, because you're filling it in, just try to get the outside edge of your heart the way you want it. If the inside has too much black, that's okay. So if you don't like the shape of your heart, just keep working it until you like the outer edge of your heart because you're going to be filling it in anyways. So we have one, two antennas, and then we want our eyes too. Same thing. Worry about the outside edge more than the inside. See, that looks kind of messy on the inside, but that's okay, because when we add in our red, it's gonna make it look fine. Now a nice little smile, of course, for our bug. And then we're gonna give them some legs, like so. Now we can work our way, oh, and attach our antennas. We need antennas to attach there. Now we're gonna work our way around our edge doing zigzags. You do not have to be overly perfect with this, kind of the sketchier look. Um, turns out just fine if you want to be very specific about it you can but I just kind of zigzag and I let the streaks that I created um, guide me around just give them kind of a furry look and if you got I've got a kind of a rough spot on my rock when you have a rough stop spot just use extra light touch that will help you from splattering your paint I also turn my pen slightly to the side if it's a rough spot. That helps too. There we go. And I'll show you him a little bit closer. And you can see that I kind of went sketch style. See, like some of the color is going to go over the edge a little bit. That's the style that I like for these. Um, obviously, if you like a more clean looking design, take your time and really make it more clean. I'm going to add a little bit more to his foot there because it wasn't showing very well. All right, so we did the hearts first. That way they had a little bit of time to dry. Now when filling in your hearts, the easiest thing to do is to draw a V first, especially if you're doing tiny hearts like this. So we're just going to do a V shape up and down just like that and it almost fills it in perfectly. And then you can kind of dot in the tips and then pull it down to the center. You see that? I'm gonna try to do it a little bit more on a side angle so you can see that again. So do a V, have my basic V shape, and then I'm gonna dot, dot, dot the tip and then pull it to the center, dot, 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 and pull it to the center, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing for the eyes. Just like that. How cute is he? They're so adorable. So we're gonna let that red dry just a little bit. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the outside edge of this guy one more time so you can see that process one more time. Um, I'll add my antennas and everything after the fact. So all you wanna do is just kind of zigzag up and down, just creating these points. It can be very sketched. It looks just fine when it's finished. It's almost like a coloring book style. And they look really adorable. And I'm just using where my paint ended to kind of create my points. I just picture my little love bugs, or I guess these could be love monsters too, to have crazy furry hair, just like that. And you can decide which way he wants to go once you have this on too. I might have him go this way. So let me go ahead and add on some legs here. Still waiting for that red to be nice and dry because I don't want to get pink dots on my bug. And in his little heart antennas. Give him some nice big eyes. He's a big bug. Maybe this is the daddy bug. Just like that. And let's check out and see Red's nice and dry. So, this last touch here, just that tiny little highlight on the eye. Not necessary, I guess, but it gives that cute factor up a notch. So I will finish painting up this guy and have him in the picture here. I'll show off at the end of the video. So I hope you create some little love bugs or love monsters to hide around town. And make sure you subscribe so that you can see more fun rock painting inspiration. Bye, guys.